Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do the scribble animation effect in Final Cut Pro. So here's just a short clip of what I put together a minute ago. So yeah, if we go through each frame, then you can see what I've drawn on here. I'm rubbish at these uh, like animation type stuff, so it doesn't look great to be honest, but, but yeah, that's the effect. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the app store and you want to download this app here, Lightshot Screenshot. I'll leave the uh, link for this in the description. So once you've downloaded this app, you want to make a shortcut on the shortcut bar just down there so it's nice and accessible. So where you want the uh, scribble effect to start, you want to create a marker on your timeline. Click on the main timeline and then just press M. So that's going to create a little marker for you and that's where the scribble effect is going to start. Okay, so next step is you want to open up Lightshot Screenshot and then you just want to do your best to select the shot. This doesn't have to be perfect and as you get into it you'll kind of get better at getting a good outline of the, uh, of the shot. But yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. So once you've done that, you want to use this little scribble effect here and you want to change the color to green and there's a reason for that but I'll explain later so yeah just select green and the scribble effect and then all you want to do is just draw your animation so that's one frame done and then what you want to do is click on the save button here create a new folder I'm just going to call this scribble effect so all of the frames you're about to draw are going to go into this folder and it doesn't matter what they're called uh, you just want to hit save so that's your first shot done and now you just want to click on Final Cut and just skip one frame you'll be able to tell if you skipped a frame just kind of keep an eye on your marker so once you've skipped the frame now you want to hit light shot select your shot as best you can select the crayon and then do another animation hit save save again and then skip a frame. So yeah, it's actually once you get into it, it's actually quite um, it's quite quick. One eternity later. Okay, so you've done all of your drawings, and now the next step is to bring them into Final Cut Pro, so we can put them back on our footage. So what you want to do is find your folder, and we're just going to import that folder into your Final Cut Pro event or into your project and then you want all of your drawings to come up here and then you want to go to go to the end of your timeline it's probably the easiest way to do it and then click up in the uh, browser here just click the dead space and then press command A that's going to select all of your shots and then you just want to go down the timeline and hit W and that's just going to put them all in the timeline there and next step is you just want to select them all right click change duration and then just press number one and enter and that's going to change them all into um, a frame long so now yeah you've got your animation okay and now you want to select all of your frames and just go new compound clip and for some reason this has put it put my drawings in backwards so what I'm going to do is just reverse this compound clip yeah go into this and I'm just going to reverse that so now they're in order okay so next step is you want to go to effects keying and you want to put the keyer effect on it and then all you're going to do is just click invert and you can change the color of this 
if you just open up the uh, color correction tab with command six and yeah you can change the color on this if you go to exposure and put the exposure all the way up then it'll be white pretty much everything's done all we need to do is just put this back over our footage so I'm just going to copy this and then you want to find your marker that you put at the very start there it is and then I'm just gonna paste that oh okay it hasn't it's put it underneath there okay so now the scribble effect is in place over your footage so yeah there you go that's it that's how you do the scribble effect in Final Cut Pro hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one now I'm for you.